Hey everyone, and welcome to this video of my, um, I guess you could say experience, or just my, uh, me making a game within a week. Uh, I said I would, and I did. So make sure to watch the whole video and stick around to the end, I got a special surprise for everyone. Uh, if you don't want to, that's okay. Um, as you can see here, so I first started off by making all the sprites. I made the room, I made the character, and I made the sword. The sword, the way the game works is the sword will follow your mouse as you like move it around. You gotta hit enemies. And what I'm doing is I'm setting up the room, character movement, all that. That's like the very first thing on the very first day that I, that I uh, started to work on few minutes I was able to get the uh, movement to at least somewhat work I had to tweak it because as you can see it's just going way too fast but yeah after some trial and error I was able to get the movement exactly how I wanted it the next thing to do was to get the camera set up and the sword uh, it took quite some time it took about a day to be able to get it how I wanted it but eventually I did. Also, huge thanks to DJ Legend for sending me the blueprints on how to make the sword follow the mouse cursor. After the sword, I thought, of course, the only thing that you would really need are the enemies. Uh, so I made these little zombie guys who follow you around. Uh, there, there are three of them. There are the normal ones, which are just called goons. There are the blue ones, as you can see here, which are called tanks, and then there are red ones, which are called zooms. The zooms, they run. I also had made the lock mechanic, so when you kill all the enemies, the door unlocks. And I gotta be honest, the, the game kind of fits with the original Zelda dungeon theme. After that, I had added two new rooms, uh, one with the door to the left and one with the door to the right. And each time you enter a door, it will randomly choose between either the up, the left, or the right door. I then made a main menu with difficulty settings, and I started work on the player health. Right now, you only have one, and when you get hit, you die. I then added an effect for when you get hit, where the heart kind of dies, like shatters and turns all gray. And that system took me a lot longer than I'd like to admit. I created a little boss, which is a slime monster, doesn't do much. And I made the system for when you die, your health increases by one. I made some music for the menu, and added a whole bunch of other options in the menu. Now, I know there's been a pretty big jump, but I just, for the past few days, I was just doing some, poly not necessarily the past few days, like a day or two. So I added a social tab to show all of our social media for everyone who's helped out the game, and a quit button in the main menu. As you can hear, enemies now have an injured and a kill noise. There's a dungeon music or dungeon theme, and whenever anything dies, they explode in some particles. And here is the, uh, the final boss, or at least the easy final boss. Uh, the plan was to add easy, medium, and hard, but let me get to that surprise I was telling you guys about. So if any of you guys thought this game looked fun and want to play it, all you have to do is... You can't. Can't play it. Game's broke. I don't know why, but the game broke as soon as I packaged it. So, that's a pretty big shame. I actually really like this game. I thought it would have been fun for people to be able to play. Albeit it is... It does kind of show off like... Like, uh newbie indie game developer. It's not very high polished or whatever, but still I thought it'd be I thought it'd be cool to or for for people to play. I will say I did learn a bunch of stuff while trying to make this game. It's uh, I started on Thursday and today is Monday. 
So it's only been like four or five days, which is pretty good time. Um, now, the thing is, this, the, there's still plans to, uh, I'm not gonna, I can't say it too much, but, um, I will say that there is a bunch of stuff that I would have fixed in this game that I couldn't because I wanted to get this video out today. And had I fixed it, it would have taken too long. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of dropping a lot here. I've been talking for quite some time, but either way, uh, hopefully the game looked fun. It works in the editor. It just does not work when, um, when actually playing it. So what I will do is on my 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 channel, Lightsaber09, I will do a full playthrough of everything, uh, and you can watch that by clicking clicking onto my, the, the the link in the description. Uh, they'll go to my channel, and it should be the most recent video, depending on when it comes out. Uh, so yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Oh, one last thing, I would have put the programming in here, but like I said, I just wanted to get this video out and. Because the game wasn't working, it kind of bummed me out a bit, so I didn't really put as much effort as I could have, should have, and would have into this video. So, with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching, and uh, I hope I hope to see you in another video. Goodbye.